Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a mall kiosk unboxing. That's right, a few weeks ago I was at the Intercity Mall in Thunder Bay, Canada, and I walked by a kiosk that was selling calendars and toys and games, and uh, it caught my eye because the games and toys were, were all sort of brain teasers and puzzles and things like that. So uh, one of the items I saw was this Turbo Mind Twister. And uh, it appealed to me because uh, around the uh, equator here, on well, there's a mind twister, are, these are little cars. And uh, they really kind of uh, intrigued me. Um, so I had a closer look at it. And, you know, for a mall kiosk, the price wasn't too bad. Um, and, uh, well, well, we'll get to that. Um, so I've seen this online before. Someone posted, I think, a picture and maybe there was a little discussion. But I really didn't know too much about it. But it is kind of cool. So it says uh, here, it's got French and English on it. And uh, sort of one of the little details about the French and English is that the, uh, the English uh, spells things in the American way, <laughs> um, rather than the Canadian way. Um, but it says match the colors, and then it says uh, maneuver each car to its matching color. So I'm a little curious to know how that's going to work. And then it says uh, over here, it says twist the spear. And then uh, uh, shift car. So I, I'm, I'm sort of thinking that, yeah, you have to kind of, the spheres move and then the cars move and you just kind of have to get, uh, pair them up and match them up somehow. So it did intrigue me. Uh, now, uh, let's see. Um, so it says it's from Fox Mind. Uh, and then it has a patent pending. I looked this up when I was at the mall and it seems it has been around for a while. Uh, so I'm not sure if the patent's still pending. Um, and then, so on this side, it looks like we have uh, American, uh, and it says, uh, race through the fast lane of change pass by swiveling the sphere. Think it through and find a way to maneuver each car in uh, to its matching color. Okay. Uh, and then it has the French, it has uh, uh, Spanish, and uh, I would sort of guess German <laughs> down there. Okay, so that, that's kind of interesting. I have so many different uh, uh, different languages on there. Uh, and let's see. So, of course, uh, made in China. And it says, oh, here we go. We get to find a bit about the design. A game by Dine Logical Toys Graphic Design and then Ariel Layden. Okay. That's uh, what we got. Fox Mine 2008. Indeed, so it has been a few years. Still got a patent pending. And you can see I paid $14.99 for it plus tax. So that's about uh, the price of a Big Mac and then uh, maybe a, a, an extra burger or an extra fries or something like that. Just to put it into uh, universal terms. So you could buy a Big Mac and then um, a few more things from McDonald's uh, for that price. So, uh, what else is there? Okay, so that's, okay, so there's my age, age 8, uh, 108, okay, that's good, I, I hope someday to exceed the maximum age limit of this. Uh, I think it's the same graphics on both sides, and uh, I don't see anything, anything else on there. Okay, so, well, let's, uh, let's open this up and uh, see what we got. Now, on the box, just kind of... Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, that wasn't too hard to open. Yeah, I've actually had this kind of hanging around uh, the last few weeks. It's just been very busy. End of semester at school. And uh, I don't even think I'm going to need my knife for this. Well, you never know. <laughs> I need a screwdriver instead. See here. Oh, okay, so now it's coming. Yeah. So it's just a it's not even taped together or anything. Whoops. Okay. So I'll take it out of the package, and I think that's pretty much it. There's nothing else in there. I'm just gonna open up this other flap in the off chance that there's instructions or something in there just to be thorough, but no, no instructions, just a, another clamshell. And that's it. That's the that's the packaging. I will. Okay, so 
this is it. This is the uh, Turbo Mind Twister. And uh, see, nice bright colors. It looks like, wow, a whole bunch of colors. What's that? Eight different colors on it. Wow. So I guess these cars move. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay. It's a little, little, okay, not, not too bad. A little scratchy at first, but not too bad. So, all right, so you see the sort of the what, what is that baby blue cyan and purple right there and okay so the car colors you sort of match so now if that's all it did it wouldn't be much of a puzzle so I assume that it must oh yeah there you go okay so that goes okay and that goes okay so this is a little bit how what would you you call this um a yeah, a, a little bit like a, it's good, not a three by three, but something, anyway. Okay, so that's so that's how it works. So you can, you gotta line the cars up, and then that part goes, and then you can also scramble that part. So that, that's pretty, pretty good. Now the question is, can I, can I also turn the top and bottom? No, not independently. So, so it's not a, not a, going to be a super challenging thing to solve but actually maybe not <laughs> maybe it will be because you can turn it one step and uh, these could probably get mixed up pretty quickly so uh, how's the turning actually it's uh, pretty smooth it's a little stiff at first but uh, but not so bad now one thing I notice is um, that it's solved right now and if I flip that oh okay so so they have the uh, yellow and red here and yellow and red. So this octet or whatever you would call it is is actually solved and that's solved. Okay, so really um, the solved position could be, oops, okay, now I'm, <laughs> okay, I think I'm losing the recipe here. So that could be solved, uh, but it could also be solved like that as well. Okay, so it's, it's not super, super challenging in that you have the same color on both sides actually but you got to get that right so that's uh that's it's something anyway okay well this looks like a lot of fun turns really well price was right so uh, i'm very happy with this so this is the turbo mind twister and uh i just got it at a uh, mall kiosk in uh, thunder bay i'm uh, happy i got this um what i'm gonna do is uh uh, I'm going to scramble it right now, and I don't know if I can solve it, but uh, let's just uh, give it a scramble. Wait, first I better uh, move the cars a little bit. Okay, that, uh, it, there might be an alignment thing. Okay, so now I can... Whoa. It's kind of hard to tell how they, how they move. Uh, okay, I wonder if they have some sort of parity issues. All right, whoa. All right, I'm going to call that scrambled, and I'm going to go off and solve it, and I will get back to you. Okay, I'm back, and the Turbo Mind Twister is solved. And uh, it was uh, it was fun. Uh, it was it turned out to be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, everything seemed to be going well until I ended up with two cars swapped side by side, fooled with it some more, got them swapped across from each other. And uh, anyway, that, I think that's the way this thing goes. So that's something to fix. Uh, it's it's not too bad to fix, but it's uh, it's certainly um, one of the more interesting aspects of solving this thing. As I was solving it, I put some silicone oil lube in the uh, mechanism, and uh, it seems to be uh, turning quite smoothly now. I have absolutely no complaints about it. Uh, one of the things I noticed as I was solving was just how high quality uh, this puzzle is, I mean, especially given the price, but it really is quite nice. Um, these colors here, for example, are um, it plastic embedded into the face, of it so they're not stickers they're actually pieces of uh, colored plastic and uh, nicely uh, finished off there so you know it, it seems like it might be some fairly inexpensive toy but really it comes down to uh, you know a good value I think for for the money 
Uh, so that's it. I guess that's all there is to say about the Turbo Mind Twister. I'm really happy I got it. Uh, this came from a mall kiosk in Thunder Bay. So uh, that you never know, I guess, when you'll find a, an interesting puzzle. Well, as always, I appreciate your feedback, your comments, your questions, your suggestions. So, so leave me something on my channel. I, I look forward to reading the, those. And until next time, thanks for watching.